Yo, what's going on? Um, I was going to do a different type of video or a regular type of video where I break everything down, but I think I'm just talking. Uh, Pete versus Wilson, round one. Carroll has a Super Bowl and nine winning seasons with the Seahawks, but his time could be coming to an end. Russell Wilson has reportedly clashed with Carroll's offensive philosophy, and many have sided with the QE. The latest report is that Pete is the, quote, de facto CEO of the Seahawks, which has Russell become says, a... Okay, if you keep saying, let Ru I'm, I'm the guy, but all you want to do is turn around and run the football and play defense. Well, we don't have that type of defense anymore, and I should be involved in the communication. Skip, I was watching the other night, and they had Tom Brady. Earlier, after he had won a couple of Super Bowls, he's in Coach Belichick's office, and he's coming down, he's like, well, you know what? If Ed Reed does this, if we run the flag here, and Ed Reed jets it there, we should have the guy on the backside does this because he's going to be wide open. And Coach Belichick say, you're saying, this? Yeah. okay, yeah, I I I'll make a note of that. Uh, round one, uh, Russell Wilson gets drafted. Um, obviously, Pete Carroll gets the job. He's been there a couple years. Um, hasn't really done anything for real. Um, and then, so preseason, they have, I think his name was Matt Flynn. Matt Flynn is um, the guy who, like, he threw for like 300, 400 yards the last game in Green Bay, and then Seattle signed him to a big deal. It, it was a big deal at the time. Um, and then they draft Russell Wilson in the third round. And so they get Russell Wilson in the third round. Uh, Matt, Matt Flynn disappoints. And um, Russell Wilson takes the job, takes that job, and then we're on from here. Russell, Will Russell Wilson versus Pete Carroll, round two. So round two is the rise, the rise of Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll as a group. Um, we have Richard Sherman on that defense. Um, I'm missing everybody. The Legion of Doom. Uh, the Legion of Boom or Doom, I'm not sure which one, but that 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 uh, iconic defense that Seattle had for those four or five years, and um, they absolutely dominate that competition as Russell Wilson is rising through the ranks and becoming a top five quarterback. So they're rising through the ranks and they end up winning a Super Bowl. Um, and this is at the height of their powers. Russell Wilson is a game manager, but he's moving up the ranks. Um, and then we have Russell Wilson versus Pete Carroll, round three. So in round three, we're in really all, really it starts um, on that third down when Russell Wilson throws an interception. And we have the iconic look of Richard Sherman when he's just absolutely disgusted. He's absolutely disgusted at the fact that they would throw it at the one yard line, even though they had got stuffed a couple times prior leading up to that, but Rich, I stuffed a couple of times, but Marshawn Lynch was the guy at that time. He was one of the best backs in the league at the time. And so you just think we're going to hand it the ball, we're going to run it in, we're going to run it in, we're going to get the touchdown. That didn't happen. Um, instead of Pete Carroll vetoing the call, he decides to throw the ball. And Malcolm Jenkins, Malcolm Jenkins caused the interception and the rest is history. And and so much going on, and so many politics going on, because uh, it was that same season Russell Wilson didn't want to talk. Well, not Russell Wilson, I'm sorry. Um, Marshawn Lynch didn't want to talk to the media. That's the, I'm just here so I won't get fired days. And um, this is that's that. And so you, you go for the, this is, well, I'm only here so I get, don't get fired days. Were they, were they playing politics instead of actually trying to win the game? Should have Marshawn Lynch ran the ball because that was the I'm just here so I don't get fired I won't get fine days and um, if he gets a touchdown will he actually talk after the game so there's a lot of stuff going on at that point as to why they wanted Russell Wilson to be the star and he never became he never became the star um, and that that all that all leads up to Russell Wilson round five So Russell Wilson versus Pete Carroll part five. So part five, we have everything up to now. Um, 
everything up to now from the end of that Super Bowl to the deterioration of the Legion of Boom to let Russ cook to Russ coming up small in the second half of the season um, and Pete Carroll just refusing to let Russ cook. So we have we're, we're at an impasse now to where we don't know what's going to happen with Russell Wilson. And like I reported um, last week or a couple of days ago, um, Russell Wilson doesn't want to be traded. And But if he does get traded, he wants to go to the Bears, the Bears, the Dallas Cowboys, the Saints, and just one other team, the Raiders, or the Raiders. These are four teams he wants to go to. So, so we sit here and we think, is this the end of their relationship together? Because with the owner passing away in Seattle, he pretty much is, is going on all throughout the organization. He's pretty much the CEO of the organization now because of the owner passing and all that type of stuff. More politics. So if you're Seattle, what do you do? Do you trade Russell Wilson? Do you get rid of Pete Carroll? What do you do? In my opinion, you you can get another Pete Carroll. Or you, yeah, you can get another Pete Carroll. You can't get another Russell Wilson. They, they had Matt Hasselbeck. It was a while before they drafted another decent quarterback. So... That's that's what I think as regards to this. Um, I think they should go if if it means losing Pete Carroll because Pete Carroll didn't do much before Russell Wilson. Now he won national championships and um, did all this in college, but he never really had any success in major leagues. He never had any success in the NFL without Russell Wilson. Now, you can say Russell Wilson had that great all-time defense. And what has Russell Wilson done since that all-time defense? I agree with that. But Russell Wilson is a superstar now. Get him some weapons. Get him a, get him a decent defense. I don't think Russell Wilson needs a legion, another Legion of Boom. Get him a decent defense. Get him um, a decent offensive line. I saw a stat where Russell Wilson has like been sacked over 20 more times than the next person. Uh, get him an offensive line and watch what he can do. So, those are my thoughts on the whole Russell Wilson versus Pete Carroll thing. Um, I was going to go more technical, but I just wanted to speak what I knew because uh, I've pretty much followed this the whole time because uh, Seattle is in, was in the Rams division. So, I pretty much know Seattle with the back of my hand. So, that's all I got, that's all I got for y'all today. Tell me all what y'all think. Who should they pick? Should they pick Russell Wilson? Or should they pick or should they pick Pete Carroll? Let me know in the comments. Talk to y'all later. Peace.